universe visible to our eyes is, in reality, only 0.0035%. The rest, 99.9965%, is dark matter and dark energy, something no one has been able to fully understand yet. 13.8 billion years ago, a journey began with an explosion. And even today, the universe is expanding every second. But the question remains, where is it expanding to? And will it ever end? Let's find answers to those questions today. The ones that even NASA has no clear answers to. Are you ready for this mind-blowing truth? Our story begins exactly where we stand. On this blue planet, Earth. At first glance, it feels like everything exists here on Earth. But when we widen our perspective and try to observe this planet from a distance, we realize that we're just standing on a tiny speck revolving around a massive sun. The Earth is about 12,000 kilometers wide. That sounds huge. But as soon as we step out into the outer world beyond Earth, that size starts to feel smaller than a grain of sand. This is a system where one star, the Sun, is at the center and eight planets revolve around it. Each planet has its own world, its own atmosphere. Some even have moons of their own. For example, Jupiter has around 90 moons. The total width of the solar system is about 28 billion kilometers. The Sun is its center, and it is about 100,000 times larger than Earth. Now think about it. Earth is like a grain of sand in front of the Sun, but this is just the beginning. Our Sun isn't alone. It's also part of a massive group, which we call a galaxy. Our galaxy is called the Milky Way. It contains around 100 billion stars. Each star has its own world, and many stars have planets revolving around them. It's even possible that some of these planets may harbor life. The Milky Way galaxy stretches around 100,000 light years. That means if you travel at the speed of light, 300,000 kilometers per second, it would take you 100,000 years to cross it. Now think, this is just our one galaxy. And even more astonishing is that it's not alone. In 1990, the American Space Agency, NASA, sent a special telescope into space. The Hubble Space Telescope. It gave human eyes a completely new perspective. Hubble peered beyond even our galaxy, and the images it sent back were astonishing. We discovered that there are countless such galaxies, and when scientists analyzed the data deeply, they estimated that our universe contains around 200 billion galaxies, each galaxy with up to 100 billion stars every star potentially surrounded by planets. And hidden among all of this are mysteries we can only begin to imagine. So far, everything we've discussed falls under the observable universe. That is, the part we can see with our telescopes. Our vision is limited by light. And according to scientists, the observable universe has a diameter of around 93 billion light years. This means the distance from one end of the universe to the other is so vast it takes billions of years for the light to reach us. Scientists believe that about 13.8 billion years ago, the entire universe originated from a very small, extremely dense and hot point. This event is known as the Big Bang. In that single moment, not only matter and energy were created, but time and space themselves came into existence, meaning, before the universe, there was no such thing as time. From that single point, the universe began expanding, and that expansion continues to this day. We often think of the Big Bang as an explosion, like a bomb that scattered fragments everywhere. But in reality, it was a far more complex process. After the Big Bang, not only did matter and energy spread out, but space itself began to expand. Now the question is, what is causing the universe to expand? What force is pulling it apart? Dark energy is a mysterious force that exists in every corner of the universe, but we can't see it or touch it. We only know of its effect. It's pulling the universe outward in all directions, expanding it. Around 68% of the universe is filled with dark energy, but will this energy ever run out? Will it one day rip us apart down to individual atoms? Research is still ongoing. Now let's talk about dark matter. When scientists observed the speed of galaxies, they found that they were rotating so fast, they should have broken apart, but they didn't. That's when scientists concluded that there must be some invisible mass holding them together, and they named it Dark Matter. 
This makes up around 27% of the universe. We can neither see it nor feel it. But without it, the structure of the universe would collapse. Only 5% of the universe is what we can actually see. Now think. Only 5% of the universe is visible to our eyes. The remaining 95% is still a mystery. Time. Is it constant or flexible? Time. A word we experience every day, but rarely understand. When Einstein introduced his theory of relativity, he proved that time is not constant. It can slow down or speed up depending on motion and gravity. For example, an astronaut traveling near the speed of light will experience time more slowly. When they return, only a few hours or days may have passed for them, but years may have passed on Earth. Now comes the biggest and most profound question. Will the universe ever end? Scientists have proposed several theories for this. Big Crunch If the power of dark energy decreases, gravity could begin to pull everything back. Galaxies would move closer, collide, and ultimately, everything would collapse back into a single point. Just like before the Big Bang, death. If the universe keeps expanding forever, all stars would eventually die out, energy would run out, and a time would come when nothing remains, just darkness, cold, and emptiness. Big Rip. If the power of dark energy keeps increasing, it could tear apart even atoms, planets, stars, galaxies. Everything would be stretched and destroyed. Seeing the vastness of the universe, it's natural to ask, is Earth the only place with life? When every galaxy has hundreds of billions of stars, and each star is potentially surrounded by planets, then is it not possible that somewhere, someone is thinking just like us. We haven't found any conclusive evidence yet, but scientists are making new discoveries every day, and the possibility is very strong that we are not alone in this universe. The universe visible to our eyes is, in reality. The first large telescope was made in 1609 by Galileo, which showed the craters of the moon, the moons of Jupiter, and the rings of Saturn. In the years that followed, technology leapt forward radio telescopes, X-ray telescopes, and then space telescopes like Hubble, which revealed our universe like never before. In the 20th century, humans took realistic steps toward exploring the universe. The first major milestone was sending a human to the moon. In 1969, the Apollo 11 mission sent Neil Armstrong to the moon, which was a golden moment in the history of humanity in space. It was just the beginning. After that, many missions explored Mars, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, and their moons. Rovers like Curiosity set foot on the surface of Mars and are engaged in the search for signs of life. Apart from that, a big name in space exploration is the Hubble Space Telescope, which sent us the most distant views of the universe, helping us understand the expansion of the universe and its history. We still have many unsolved mysteries like the nature of dark matter, dark energy, the world inside black holes, and the nature of time. Scientists are building new instruments to find answers to these questions, like the James Webb Space Telescope, which is even more powerful than Hubble and will help in observing the beginning of the universe. Humans have come a long way in understanding the vastness of the universe. Through science, technology, and curiosity, we have measured the stars, stepped onto planets, and now we are preparing to dive into the depths of this mysterious universe. We'll continue, because the universe is infinite, and the human quest has no end. If you liked the video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.